in a tight championship battle. Qualifying takes on a new complexion here at the final round of the Marbula One season. For the final time, I welcome you everybody to Mirage Meowton for the host Crazy Cat's Eyes Home Grand Prix. I'm Greg Woods. As we get ready for a championship duel that involves the Crazy Cat's Eyes and the O-Rangers. Those are the only two teams that can still win the Marbula One World Championship. However, six marbles are eligible to win the championship overall themselves. To do it, they'll have to tame this tricky track that includes both an accelerator into a hairpin followed by a sand track with a helix. Oh yeah, and this banking, if you were ready for some speed and crazy overtaking opportunities. To do it, however, the marbles will need to qualify. And of course, this season in Marbula One, those top three positions are worth points, as is the fastest lap in the Grand Prix tomorrow, which means that things will change in terms of permutations for who wins the championship, depending on what happens today. Now to get us going, we start with the Pinkies, Pinky Toe whose teammate got on pole position, Pinky Panther, last race out at Midnight Bay. This marble, though, has been consistent at times. 12th to 13th, 20th to 19th, 4th to 4th in qualifying, and the race finishes. 27.053 is the initial mark to beat as we get a look between that marble and Wispy at this circuit. The third sector here lets you really stretch your legs before making sure you get it right through that final chicane. Wispy did, and breaks the 27 second mark. Minty Flave out on track now, a marble that hasn't run for a couple of weeks. Fifth place last time out at short circuit after qualifying 11th. And is Purple through the middle sector, fastest of anyone by a quarter of a second there, Purple in the third, and Minty Flave goes to provisional P1. Bumble comes through now for the Bumblebees. A marble that has gained 17 spots from starting positions to finishing order so far this year, and a 26-2-6-2. I like the alternation there. And Bumble, with a palindrome, goes to P1. Hazy heads into the banking at the third sector now. And overall, marbles have been pretty complimentary about this circuit. The first time that Marbula One has come here, of course, Crazy Cat Size, the defending champions in both the team and the individual titles last season. And the crowd here is just thrilled. It's a mix of so many different teams and so many different marble fandoms. Be interesting to see who comes out on top. As we saw Yellow come through with the 27061 Bonbon bon has lost nearly a second in the first sector alone, dropped four tenths in the middle and comes across the line last of all. Getting shot out of that accelerator and then bumping against the walls. We've seen a few marbles do that. Managing your speed through that hairpin and onto the sand could be a crucial point for the race tomorrow. Not getting too high on the curbs, managing that momentum, and being sure you're not just careening into a sand wall as you come out of it. And so many marbles taking some sharp bumps off of, I mean, it's still a, a relatively soft surface. But we'll have to see how they manage it when there are other marbles around them, too. Crush is purple through the middle sector, and challenging for the top spot goes second place. As the midway runner here, Speedy, from the Savage Speeders. Pole sitter back at short circuit, had a couple of weeks off, comes through now, through that final chicane and across the line, fifth. So a reminder of those six who are eligible for the World Championship. It is Red Eye, Starry, Origin, Clutter, Royal, and Arab. As we begin the second half here, and you see the Rangers are going to be last up in qualifying. Alpine comes out now. Qualified second at short circuit before dropping eight spots. Has lost only a total of two positions as a grand total over the course of the season. Offs for the left side and then the right on the exit of that helix. Oh, and fairly consistent coming through here with losing time. 
Alpine goes in 10th. Of course, this late in the season, you probably don't need it explained to you, but Q1, everybody runs one time set per marble. The top 10 will advance to Q2, which is a three-lap shootout for pole from a standing start. And the bottom 10, they are eliminated and will fill up those grid spots as we see our first two green check marks up in that scoring pylon. Bumble and Crush are safe. Momo on track, but first Glimmer goes second. Steadily built up time over the course of that lap, and I think that would be the key to running good race laps tomorrow, is keeping that momentum and even building it. This third sector is wide open. You can go flat out through that banking just as long as you arrest enough to go through that chicane. Momo comes through, is eliminated. Also in the bottom four so far, Hazy, Alpine, and Bonbon. Billy out on track now, our winner at Stardust Accelerator. Teammate Mallard went third place at both the Short Circuit and Midnight Bay, but Billy will have some work to do just on the edge of safety. And Starry, one of those championship contenders. Just two hundredths off in the first sector. Quarter of a second in the middle. Starry will need some help, but goes fourth and is guaranteed to move on. Clutter up now, another one of those championship contenders. Nobody's losing time. This is a marble that won from pole back at Misty Mountain, finished second at Tumult Turnpike. Clutter sits with 76 points to the leader's 92. Clutter will not advance. Royal out now. Marble that is in last place among those who are still eligible. Will need a lot of help. Pole position, fastest lap maybe. And of course we know that this marble is capable of both. Winning back at the raceway, second to first at the Honey Dome, and Royal goes into fifth and will move on. Here is Red Eye across the line and goes first. Red Eye is safe. Now final marble. This is Clementon. Orangen, the teammate, is in the running for the individual championship. Oh, Rangers as a whole are in it for the team. That is a close battle, just 11 points between them, and they'll start one and two in Q2. You couldn't write it any better than that. Red Eye by 17 thousandths over Clementon from their rival O-Rangers. Bumble in third and Glimmer also up there on the second row. Now this very well could be a track where we can see a lot of overtaking, some people coming from deep down the grid, but we get our first glimpse of how it all may play out right here. Lights are on. And we're rolling, Clement gets the better start. Heads the field into the first turn as they weave through this first sector. Red Eye briefly fell behind, but gets up into second place as they come through the accelerator. And Red Eye with a nice head of steam as they come through the helix. Goes opposite of Clementon, but will hold second place. But watch behind. That's both Bumble and Glimmer that were closing that gap as they head into the third sector in the banking for the first time. Good battle back there with contact coming out of that banking between Glimmer and Royal. I think Starry was also in the mix. Wispy behind, Minty Flav and Crush, and Arup bringing out the back of the field. But the rest of this, third on down, is slowly closing in on Red Eye. Exiting that turn very well. Each of the last two laps, trouble on the sand for Clementon, and Red Eye has the lead, but only by a length. They head down the back stretch, drafting each other through the banking. Who gets the better exit? And it is Red Eye heading into the final lap. There was a bit of a hop as Clementon came up the belt and will be one step apart from Red Eye. Here we go. The final shootout for the final pole position in this season. Glimmer is also in striking distance along with Royal. Red Eye bounding off the walls, getting airborne, coming through it, but entering back onto the track with a lead of about six or seven lengths. Clementon now having to hold off Glimmer and Royal. It's Red Eye stretching the lead through the banking and the chicane, and Red Eye for the home team will start on pole. Clementon behind, half a second back. Glimmer and Royal rounding out the second row. 
and Crush, Wispy, Arup, Bumble, Starry, and Minty Flav completing the top 10. Three points to Crazy Cat Size compared to just two for the O'Rangers with Clementon. Those points will matter as we head into tomorrow. That just makes the job all that much tougher for the O'Rangers. They do hold the overall lead in the championship, but it has come down. How will it play out here at Mirage Meowton? We hope you will join us for one more time here in the third season of Marmula One.